What is up guys, it's Vish here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to snipe from long range in Arma 3 King of the Hill. For the loadout, you need 3 perks. The first one is Marksman, so you can equip yourself a sniper rifle. The second one is the Laser Designator, which can help you find targets easily because it's got thermal sight. The third one is Ammo. So you have more ammo, you don't have to return to base more often. For the rifle, go for the MC20. It zeroes up to 2400 meters and it is damn accurate at range for the scope go for the lrps it's 25 times and got nice mill darts which you can make use of for the appearance go for the full ghillie always go for the full ghillie because enemy snipers also have laser designator so they can find you easily if you wear these other outfits these are gonna glow like a bug on thermal sight this one all they can see is your face so this is going to help you and for the mill dart stuff I need to take you to the virtual arsenal so I can show you some things in detail. I'll see you there. And here I am in the virtual arsenal. You can see there are targets at different positions here. This is a great spot to test your snapping skills and to practice sniping. This guy is at 2000 meters. To shoot him, I have to set my scope to 2000 meter, which is called zeroing. Page up increases the range, as you can see on the right top. Page down decreases it. I set my scope to 2000 meters and now all I have to do is point and shoot. I hit the guy with the first shot but this is not a big deal because he was on the same range which I was zeroed in which is 2000 meters. What if he was on an odd range like 1970, 1980, 1981, 1985 and stuff. That is where the mill darts comes into play and that's how people miss the targets and then they cry about it. Each mill dart is said to be 100 meters. From 100 meters to 1000 meters each mill dart act like it is 75 meters to 100 meters from my experience. From 1000 meters to 1700 meters each mill dart act like it is 50 meters. From 1700 to 2000 and above, each mill dart act like it is 35 meters. These are my calculations. This is not exact, but it is it is the rough calculation which I gathered from playing King of the Hill. So right now that guy is at 1981 meters. At these ranges, it's easy to miss a shot, but don't worry, you'll get it in like one or two shots once you see where the bullets land. That guy is 1980 meters. So the first mill dart, as I said before, from 1700 to 2000 and above, each mill dart is 35. So I set my scope to 1900. The first mill dart is 35. The second one is 70. And then now I have to aim between the second and the third. I hit him with the first shot because I know where the bullet will land. This applies to all ranges. All you have to do is remember the calculations. I moved even further back. Right now the guy is at 2171 meters. Remember the calculations I said before. Each mill dart is 35 meters, about 1700. So this one is 2135, 2170. So I can just use the second mill dart to shoot at him. I hit him with the first shot because of the mill dart. And I moved again. Right now the guy is at 2,284 meters. So I set my zeroing to 2,200. You know the calculations. First mill dart 35. Second one 70. So I have to aim between the second and the third one. Like halfway. Got him. Right now the guy is at 2,452 meters, but the scopes only zeroes up to 2,400 meters. This is where you can see the, the extreme use of mill dart. First one 35, second one 70, so you have to aim between them like this halfway. Wait for this way.
hit him. He's fucking dead. You can see the bullet drop. The time it takes to travel that far is really long. So wait for the bullet to land before you take another shot. So you can see where the bullet is landing or at least you get an idea where it is going to land. This time closer to the target so I can show you the change of range with the mill dots. This time the target is at 1668 meters. So according to my calculation, one mill dot is 50 meters at 1600 meters. So I have to aim below it and calculate 20. Uh, it's between the first and the second mill dot. Got him. I moved 20 meters close from the last position. So at this range, the first mill dot is 50 meters. As you know, I can use the first mill dot to hit him. I'm zeroed in at 1600 for 1650 meters. And the first mill dot is going to do the job. Dead. Finally, moving on to the game. Just remember these things. The range of the mill dots differ from scope to scope and rifle to rifle. This video is for the MC20 and the LPS scope. So if you want to know about something else, just leave a comment below. I'll see you at the next one.